Hi guys, this is X Rainbow here. I have decided to do a small guide on the Trade School Master Glyph Market. Um, I personally have never tried the Glyph Market before until a few days ago, so this is pretty new to me as well. So I'm going to share my uh, experiences with you, what I've learned, and how to deal with the Glyph Market. Um, I gotta say though, if you do not have time to spend on the Glyph Market, you will not make as much profit as you think you might. Uh, sure, it's possible to make several thousand a day, but you will need to camp the auction house if you are on a busy realm. If you're on a medium or low popular realm, there is a chance that you can post once a day and still make a few thousand gold, but uh, it totally depends on your realm, so there's no harm in giving it a try. It's pretty cheap to try it out. Um, there are a few things you're going to need. Firstly, obviously, you need Trade Skill Master, the add on. I'm going to assume that you understand the basics of auctioning. Um, which you'll be using in this guide. So yeah, obviously you do need Trade Skill Master Auctioning, Trade Skill Master Crafting, Trade Skill Master Auction DB, or which stands for Database, I assume. Um, and if possible, it is beneficial to have the Trade Skill Master desktop application, which will automatically um, update your pricing, uh, which is really beneficial, actually. I couldn't live without it. Uh, a few other things you might want is Trade Skill Master Destroying if you are planning to mill your own herbs, uh, which saves a lot of time. My record so far that i found, you can mill a thousand herbs in about six minutes, um, which is pretty good, pretty good. Uh, if you're watching a movie or something, you can just do that quickly. Uh, I'm personally using Bagnon for my bags to make it huge, and I'm also going to be using Postal if I do interact with my mailbox. So to start with, um, I, like I said, I haven't really used the glyph market before, but I do have a fair amount of glyphs. Uh, I learn them when I have the motivation to, but I never actually make them. As you can see, I'm missing 99 glyphs still through various uh, methods, discovery methods. Um, sorry for the hissing in the background. My mother has decided to cook something. Anyways, this uh, is, this is Aki's record. Recipe, Aki's recipe list it, uh, lets you know what recipes are missing from your professions. It's really useful. It tells you where to get them, etc. I'd highly recommend it. So to start with, we are going to want to um, go into auctioning and make a group for or a category for our glyphs. I'm just going to call that glyphs. Uh, if you are familiar with uh, Trade Skill Master Crafting, then you probably will know some of this already, but if you aren't, then you can see all the professions at the bottom of your screen. So we're using the description, I'm just going to force a scan there, uh, so it's updated with all the recipes I currently have. Uh, as you can see here, all the glyphs are uh, what do you call it? divided into classes. I personally don't like this method. Um, so there's one other method you can use if you go into options. You can change develop, uh, separated by classes into inks. I personally prefer this, but it's totally up to you. It doesn't affect this guide at all. So what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to make sure that all of these inks are enabled here. You can enable and disable them by clicking up here. They should, by default, they should all be enabled. What I want to make sure I do is disable everything else. So inks, scrolls, armor, other. I want them all disabled because I do not want to be crafting these other things for my glyph market. Okay, so once you've got that done, um, next step is we are going to move all of these into our glyph group in auctioning. To do this, it's really simple. Just click Create Auctioning Groups. Now, you can technically do this manually. You can click the arrow and click Glyphs. Um, you can also make a group for each ink but or class, but there is honestly no point in doing this. Just ignore all the options. Um, you do not need to look at them really. Just make a group and it will defaultly name it after whatever the category is. So Ink of Dreams, it has made a group called Inscription Ink of Dreams, which is super. So just go through all these groups and make an auctioning group. Like so. Uh, you don't really need to mess around the other options. You can if you really wish, but I don't really see the point right now. Okay, so we've got them all made into groups. So now I'll go back to auctioning, and as you can see, we have all these groups with all of our currently known glyphs in them, which is great. So what you want to do first is make sure with your group of glyphs that you've set uh, your information. 
Um, I personally don't want to post more than two. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to post more than one at a time. On a busy realm, there is no point posting more than one really because you will be undercut within minutes, if not seconds. So if you are on a medium population realm or a low population realm, you could go for two to three. I wouldn't recommend more than that because you will not be selling that many of each glyph at any one time. Um, right, other options, I leave that at 12 because there's just no point in having it up longer. I personally like to stay around 50 gold for my threshold because I just see, see it's not profitable at all if I go lower than that. My fallback price, I like to have 500 gold. I personally don't like to rip people off with really, really high prices. So 500 gold is comfortable for me. So once you've done that, you can um, change any op other options you'd like to and then add all your groups. So now everything's set up. Um, and because all your glyphs are set for crafting, if you now click on Open Trades Commerce Crafting, you click restock queue, it will now list for you uh, all the profitable glyphs. If you are not getting anything here, that's probably because you do not have um, a price list or you do not have a, any prices saved for what the glyph market is currently worth. That is either because you do not have Trade Skill Master um, auction database set up uh, or the desktop application set up to automatically update your prices. So if you go to the auction house and uh, run a scan, scan for inscription, I cannot personally, well I can, but scanning the auction house and game is no longer necessary because I have the desktop app. So I don't, there's no need for me to do that. But if you don't have the desktop app, then you should do that now. Um, so anyway, back to our crafting list. This is everything that I can make that is profitable at the moment. Um, as you may be thinking to yourself, you know, what the hell shows that this is profitable? Why are they linking really random glyphs? Um, if you click all here, you can see what glyphs it's making, what glyphs it's not making. And the reason that it's choosing these glyphs is if, again, you open slash TSM and go to inscription, it is dependent on your options. So you can see it's making three of each glyph. That's because if you right click here to over override and tick the box to override the max restock quantity, you can see that it's set to three. So if I should set that to four and restock my queue, it will change everything to four. But, you know, I'm personally fine with three. Same with the um, minimum restock quantity, it's at one. Uh, the wall here is where it stops crafting is when it hits uh, 50 gold, so you can see 49 is not making one, but 53 it is. That's because it's set here to a minimum profit. You can change that to say 100 if you want 100. Restock that. It will not craft any glyphs unless you're making more than 100 gold profit. Personally, I find all the default settings are great and I like them as the way they are. So now we know what we're crafting, what's profitable to craft. Um, what you're going to need to do now is either purchase these inks or you can get a bunch of Ink of Dreams, which is what I have here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you can swap Ink of Dreams or the current lower quality ink of the expansion pack for all the other inks in the game pretty much. Um, I don't usually buy Ink of Dreams from the auction house, but I found some guy had dumped a lot on there for pretty cheap, so I bought them out. But you may find directly buying these inks is a lot cheaper. However, on some realms, such as low population realms, there will be none in the auction house, so you're better off milling your own herbs, creating ink of dreams, and uh, swapping them for the other inks. So, we need a lot of other inks, obviously. Um, I personally may not have enough. I got 500, but I don't think I have enough. Not a big deal, though. Um, so, obviously, the new parchment, or the only parchment in game now is light parchment. It used to be four parchments, I think, but they removed that to make it easier. So, now all you need to do is with TSM crafting, buy vendor items. Just click that button once, and it will automatically, or should automatically, swap your Ink of Dreams for. No, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's just a bit laggy. Okay, so, wow. Okay. Uh, I did not have enough. Um, I'm missing still some inks, but that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal at all. You can see all these turn green, that means I can make them. If they are blue, it means I could make them, but I probably run out of materials. If they're orange, it means you don't have any of the materials. 
So now what we've got to do is just craft everything. Um, you need to click once for each glyph type or make three or whatever your specified number was. So now we just wait for it to make all these lovely profitable glyphs and I will return when it has finished. Okay, I'm actually stopping making glyphs now because I do have a lot I made earlier which are on another account. I just wanted to mention as well, if you notice that when you buy inks it will not buy all of the inks. That's probably because um, your crafting no, your crafting is set to what's it called detect if you have materials on other characters. Um, for example, here it will if you have any of these ticked, or if you have any guilds ticked, and there are inks in those guilds, it will um, count those as inks that you already own, so it will not buy them. So if, that, if you're confused. Uh, you can change the stuff. Uh, same with glyphs. If it will not make some glyphs, it's probably because you already have some on the auction house or on another character. I think. Um, so yeah, we have all these glyphs now. Well, I have a fair amount in my bag, so I didn't make all of them. I also realised I did something stupid um, earlier on. I, when I was in options and I changed my price back to 50, I didn't actually press enter, so it didn't update my glyphs to. Um, back to all the ones I wanted to make, but I've changed that now, it's fine, my, my list is a lot longer than it was earlier. So anyways, we now have all our glyphs ready to sell, and because we've already set up the auctioning groups, we can now go and post them, which may take a while because this is a busy realm. Um, there's been some issue with Trace Skill Master lately where sometimes it does not uh, update your posting until it's finished. Um, it depends on how busy your realm is, but I personally like to post my auctions as they are posting, so uh, as they're scanning. So you know, I'll post them every now and then, because chances are, if I've fully posted them, someone else has undercut the current competition, and I am no longer the cheapest. If that's confusing, then uh, I just want to keep posting at the constant price. So now I just have to wait for all this to post. Um, some glyphs are cheap, a lot cheaper than others. Uh, I haven't had one that's below my threshold of 50 gold yet, but I'm sure I will find one. Uh, well, actually, no, I won't because all these are profitable glyphs. Uh, but if you, when you make all these glyphs, they're profitable at the time, so tomorrow they may not be as profitable as they are today because someone has undercut that glyph by you know, a billion gold, well, 200 gold or something. So. Oh, I could, I could, it's so much lower these scans on busy realms. You know, by now I would be done on my old realm, but I, I, it's just something you have to deal with. Slow. Oh, that reminds me. When you are dealing with the glyph market, you should, in fact, go to your glyphs, go to category overrides, and in the common search term, type glyph. I spell glyph. Glyph of. Um, that will really speed up your searches actually because it narrows down the search term for when this has to scan the whole auction house for each of these items. Um, so all that is done, We're almost done. And the last thing I want to talk about the glyph market is uh, using the reset, the reset option. Uh, I have done this before, um, it can be pretty good. However, I wouldn't recommend having it on all your groups at one time if you are if you have a lot of glyph recipes because it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to scan the auction house if you're in a busy realm. So um, let me just try and set this up quickly. I haven't used re uh, the reset scan very much, so my brain is a bit slow right now. Uh, much more than I will spend. Okay, so I'll spend 100,000 gold maximum. I want 30 gold profit each. The maximum I'll spend on an item is 50 gold. The maximum I'll buy is 200 of them. Okay, so we finished with the posting. Uh, let's have a look at the reset scan, which I probably set up wrong. Nope, nope. Um, yeah, so there's only one thing that I can totally buy out, which you know I do encourage you to buy these out if they're if they're cheap. There's not very many of them. Uh, but like I said, I do not encourage you to have reset enabled on all of these because chances are 
by the time that you say bought out the first two categories someone will have posted more on these categories and that will not be updated on your reset scan so you could find yourself buying out all these categories and when you go to post them there's already 10 more glyphs posted for this category from someone else uh, so you know take it slowly if you want to try the reset scan then do two to three groups at a time maximum uh, you can make a lot of profit from resetting even if you don't have inscription at all you can make a lot of profit from purely resetting but just don't get carried away and try to do everything at once until you've learned the basics of glyph market so uh, I'm trying to think of if there's anything I have missed out. Um, hmm. You will want to add your competition to your friends lists. Uh, I have two, three competitors on this realm who will undercut me within, you know, two, as little as two minutes after I've posted my auctions. I. I don't really want to post my auctions that much because I'm usually on my other character posting enchants and gems, so I, I can't bother to reload to this character all the time. Um, the reason I'm posting from different characters is because you know you honestly do not have the bag space or the bank space to post all this, all the you know, gems, enchants, glyphs, armor, and everything from one character. It's just purely impossible um, to have enough room and to keep up with it. You'll be living in the auction house if you try to cover everything. Um, so, personally, I found so far from the glyph market, I the most I've made in a day is like 3 to 4k, I think. Uh, actually, I can probably see how much I've made. No, it's not what I want. Uh, okay, I've made 14k um, in 3 days, 4 days, I don't know. Uh, ignore this, this is from when I transferred and I got gold for a different character. Um, so yeah, that's it for the glyph market. I hope that this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. I'll be putting some links for the desktop application, etc. in the description box. And I will also be covering some other trade skill master um, categories. So good luck with tackling the glyph market and I do hope you make some profit.